this is Mr. MitPTV and today I'm going to show you how to get a follow notification on Open Broadcaster Software or OBS as it's mainly called um, uh, to your Twitch so if someone follows you on Twitch you will get notified with a picture, a gif, um, text saying who it is, a sound um, also with this you can use donations, um, hosting alerts, subscription alerts but I'm mainly going to focus on following. You can work all the rest of that out later if you would wish. But I'm going to show you how to use it with OBS. Sorry, XSplit users, but you'll have to work it out yourself. You know, I don't have XSplit, but I'm going to show you how to do it with OBS. So the first place you want to go to is the link in the description. It should take you to a page like this. So then you want to scroll down here and you want to find 32-bit, 64-bit. Now my tutorial is on screen now. You can click as an annotation. The link will also be in the description if you can't click it. Um, and that will tell you how to find it out whether your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit. If you downloaded 32-bit OBS, then you want to download 32-bit here. If you downloaded 64-bit OBS, then you want to download 64-bit here. So because I have 64-bit OBS, I'm going to download 64-bit. So it should take you to another page and it should download a zip file. Now wait for that to download. Okay, now that is downloaded. If you have classic start, go down here, type in OBS, find OBS, right click, and then you want to type open file location. If you cannot do that, you can go to the desktop, locate OBS, right click, then open file location. Now once you open the plugins folder, if there's stuff in here, you're gonna want to delete it. Now, I do not know why I do, did this. Uh, when I tried to install CLR Browser myself, uh, I put it in and it did not work. Um, so what I tried was deleting everything in the plugin folder, and then put in in the CLR Browser, and then it worked for me. Um, but it, all of that stuff will should go back in there unless it's a plugin. But unless it's a plugin you've put in manually by yourself but it should go back in to the folder it should say when you open OBS back up it should say oh you've not got this do you want to install it press yes and then it will install it back for you and then you've got see your browser working but if there's stuff in here just go ahead delete it um, it's, it will download back anyway it takes like a couple seconds depending what it is but um, if there's nothing in there you can just open up the zip folder that, uh, that you downloaded and put the two files into the plugin folder now I've already done it uh, so I'm just gonna leave that and I'm gonna open OBS so once you open OBS you wanna press preview screen down here so you can see what you're doing I've created a scene here if you haven't created a scene just add a scene there um, so what you wanna do is go to global sources down here press add and then press add CLL browser if that button is not there then you have done something wrong if something is wrong, just put down in the comments. Uh, I'll try and help you. Tell me what you've done. Uh, tell me what's wrong. Um, yeah, I will try and uh, help you as much as I can. So just press that, add CLL browser, enter a name. You can call this really whatever you want. I'll just call it follower notification. I just put YouTube tutorial because that's what I'm doing, but you can put pretty much whatever you want in there. I recommend putting follower notification so at least you know what it is. Press OK or enter. It should take a bit to load but it should open this. Now that is where you want to leave here and you want to go back onto your browser. So once you've done that you want to go over to twitchalerts.com uh, the link will be in the description. So once you have opened it just press launch twitch alerts. Now press connect. Now if you're not logged in it will ask you to log into your twitch but if you are logged in then it will come up your twitch name there. Uh, I've just created a test channel. Just press authorize and then it should log you into twitch alerts. So it should open a dashboard looking like this. Um, as I said at the start of video, you can set up donations, subscriptions, stuff like that. Um, but we're going to be focusing on follower notifications. So what I'm going to do is press alert box down here. You want to go to follow alerts. You can tinker with that if you want. You can change a bit of the settings. Uh, d don't change the background color unless your GIF or picture is the same color as that, it's very unlikely because that's the green screen color. If you just leave it like that, OBS will do it itself, it will make it transparent. If you change it, then you'll have to chrome key out yourself. But anyway, double over with that. Um, you can change all this if you want. If you don't want to mess with that, just go to follow alerts. And here's your follow alert. So you want to make sure it's enabled, obviously, so that notification will come up. So this is where the name's going to be. So say it was 
um, Mark Louis, my Twitch, it would come up. Mark Louis is following. You can put whatever you want in there. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna put um, is amazing smiley face. There we go. Uh, you can change the text animation. You can leave it non bounce. Just go for all these. Find your favorite one. I'll leave it on. Um, yeah, let's do wave image. Now there's a bunch of pictures in the gallery you can pick from if you want to pick an image you see there's like loads here but if you want to upload your own just press the upload button and then find one but I'm just gonna pick from here so I'm gonna pick this one this smiley star thing and then you can pick a sound you, I really really do recommend picking a sound unless you're a big twitcher if you are a big twitcher um, then all you're gonna hear is the sound over and over again uh, if you are a big twitcher, I recommend just making it small, so at least you you know you have something there. If you're a small Twitch streamer, then I really recommend picking a sound because you know you might not get followers as rap as rapidly as a big Twitch streamer. So yeah, you can the same upload one, or you can go to the gallery and find a couple. Let's have a look. Okay, let's pick that one. That's what I chose. Sound volumes is really up to you. Um, you could make it 100%, but it'd be pretty, pretty loud. Um, I'll just make it 80. Uh, alert duration. This is how long the notification will be on on your on screen. So I'm just gonna pick 12 seconds. That's what I have on my stream. It's really up to you. And then you've got font settings. I'm not really gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna leave it like that. But you know, you can change the font settings. And then what you want to do, you want to press save settings so that you save your settings. So once you've done that, you should have a link up here. You just want to right click and copy it. Then you want to go back onto OBS, paste that into there. And you should have that. Just press OK. OK. And then what you want to do on your scene, you want to right click add global source. And then whatever you called it. If you, you shouldn't have as many as me, but whatever you called it, just press that. And then you can change the name if you want, but just press OK. And then it should be on there. Now you should see nothing. What you want to do, you want to press edit scene, and this is where it is. You can't see anything right now because it's transparent. It's the green screen thing. It's just transpa transparent. I'm going to make it big just for this tutorial. I really don't recommend having it this big, but it's really up to you. So once you've done that, you want to test it. So you want to go back onto your browser and here where it says test follow alert, press it a couple times. You don't have to press it as many times as me, but press it and then go back onto OBS and just watch, you should see it. And there you go, you can see it. You can't just press that and you'll get loads of followers on your profile, that's just a random generated letters and numbers. But yeah, so that's what it will look like. So what I'm gonna do on my real Twitch channel, I'm just gonna follow this test channel just to show you how it works on a real user. Okay, so once they follow, it will not be instant, but it will be pretty fast. There you go, it has come up now. So this is an example of what it would look like when you're playing a game. So it should just come up in the corner. There you go. I have to say it really does want people to follow much more because it, it just it gives them a shout out, it's really nice, you know, you can say thanks for following, you know. It's just a really good way for your stream. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. If you would like me to do more OBS tutorials like how to set up the current song for Nightbot, how to set up maybe Spotify, how to maybe do an overlay. I can show you my overlay, this is my overlay for my live stream. Um, yeah, it's really nice, but if you would like me to do that, then just put down the comments and I'll try and do it as much as I can. So yeah, thanks for watching, see you in the next video, and goodbye.